up guys coming to you this morning with another what's next this is on my number three super middleweight in the world right now at 168 pounds former two-time middleweight champion daniel jacobs of the united states uh danny jacobs last fought in uh december when he debuted at 168 and he took on the very heavy julio cesar chavez jr um after a uh, first round where Chavez was aggressive, Danny seemed to figure him out. He just uh, picked him apart and busted him up and actually broke Chavez's nose. And Chavez had to retire after the fifth round with a broken nose. And um, Jacobs walked out with a fifth round TKO victory and uh, retained, um, you know, and making a successful debut at 1-168. One, um, one so... Now, uh, Jacobs is saying before a major fight, he wants to take another kind of uh, interim fight, you know, uh, in terms of a lesser opponent before he takes a big, another big fight at 168. Like, uh, you know, before he moves into a title fight or a top five contender, he wants to face another kind of, you know, lower level type guys, maybe bottom half of the 10, but we'll see. So let, let's run through the top 10 and see what's next for the former two-time middleweight champion, Daniel Jacobs. We start with number one, a rematch with WBA regular champion Canelo Alvarez. Um, not going to happen. Canelo's not going to consider Danny. Not yet. Danny hasn't done anything since uh, since Canelo beat him last year at middleweight to unify belts. So this fight wouldn't, wouldn't make any sense at all right now. So this fight's not going to happen. Number, uh, number two is the undefeated WBA champion. Callum Smith, uh, WBA super champion Callum Smith. Um, you know, both these guys are with Matchroom, and I would love to see this fight. I just don't think it's going to happen next. I don't think Danny wants to face a guy of Smith's caliber in his second fight, you know, at 168. Um, especially since he wasn't able to really test himself against a true 168 pounder because um, Chavez came in so overweight. So um, I think he wants one more fight to feel the weight out, and then he'll face somebody on Callum Smith's level, so I'm not seeing this one. It is possible because they're both with Matchroom, so um, if Eddie Hearn pushes hard enough and Danny just says, fuck it, maybe they could fight, but I'm leaning towards the less likely here. Now, Danny's number three. Number four is undefeated WBC champion David Benavidez. I don't see this one. I mean, I'd love to see the fight itself. I love the matchup, but I don't see it happening. Um, uh, Benavidez is with the PBC, and he's going to be making an an optional defense against Romer and Gulo next and Danny Danny and the PBC you know that matchroom and the PBC getting together not gonna make sense Danny has too many options with matchroom so not gonna make any sense uh, so I don't see it number five is a showdown with undefeated WBO champion Billy Joe Saunders now this fight's possible too but again I think Danny would avoid uh, an opponent like Billy Joe uh, in his next fight just because he wants to get another you know uh, another another fight in at 168 before he goes after the big dogs like this um you know i would i would love to see this fight but and they're both with matchroom so if billy joe doesn't get the canelo fight next i really would like to see this but i just don't think it's going to happen so i'm going to lean towards the less likely but definitely could happen still um number six is undefeated ibf champion caleb plant now these guys have been have had some definite words over social media uh, the last couple weeks. Danny's saying that uh, Caleb Plant's the weakest of the of the champions at 168. Caleb Plant calling Danny old, saying that he would give him a boxing lesson. Um, you know, all that being said, I don't believe there's a chance in hell these guys fight because Plant's with the PBC and Danny is with Matchroom. And um, again, a, a lot of options on both sides for the PBC, for Plant and for Danny at uh, with Matchroom. So I don't think they would try to cross promotions to make this fight, so I'm not seeing it. Number eight would be a rematch with Caleb Truax. Um, Danny fought him years ago, stopped him in the, he either got a decision or he, I think he actually stopped Caleb Truax. Um, so, you know, Truex is with the PBC anyways. Now, this would be the kind of opponent Danny would want to face, but he's already beaten Truex, and Truex is with the PBC, so PBC and Matchroom getting together for this one, I'm not seeing it. One second. Uh, number nine is uh, is um, Lionel Thompson. Lionel Thompson's with the PBC too, and I just don't see him and Danny uh, locking horns. I think it's a bad matchup. And uh, again, Danny has so many good options 
uh, between, you know, with Matchroom that it just wouldn't make sense to take a risk on a guy with, you know, not too big of a name anyways and Lionel Thompson, so I'm not seeing it. Um, and then finally at number 10 is John Ryder. Now, this fight is possible. Um, I think John Ryder could definitely get the call to face um, Danny Jacobs next. Danny's already mentioned him in recent interviews. He's mentioned John Ryder as a possible opponent. Um, they were talking about it. But I know John Ryder wants a rematch with Callum Smith for the WBA title first, which is still on the table. We got to see how the whole Canelo situation shakes out. Um, you know, whether he's going to fight Triple G in September or he's going to... Um, face somebody else. Triple G says no, likely going to be a no to September because he needs to make his mandatory first and he's not going to want to face uh, Canelo in September. So where does that leave Canelo who already said the fight with Billy Joe was never finalized and they're probably not going to take that fight now. So does he decide on Callum Smith after all? Does he go back to Billy Joe? It's really based on what Canelo decides to do. So Danny, Danny against John Ryder um, here is up in the air because if if Callum Smith doesn't get selected, um, Callum Smith and John Ryder were already talking about rematching for the WBA title. So Danny, he, you know, he's kind of in a pickle. He's got to wait around and see how everything falls into place with Canelo first um, if John Ryder is going to be an option for him. So that's it for the top 10 with, with, uh, with Danny Jacobs at 168. Now, what do I think Danny's going to do next? Honestly, I think he's going after Gabriel Rosado because I don't one I don't think Danny wants to be right now in that Canelo mix of What do I do if Canelo doesn't select this guy or that guy and wait around? I think he wants to get a solid opponent next and I think he's gonna face off against Gabriel Rosado former world title challenger And it's a good matchup for him because actually Rosado was waiting in the wings all the way down to the night of the fight with Chavez because Chavez is so unpredictable with all his bullshit and the weight issues and all that. He was waiting as a backup option for Danny in December. Rosado's talked a lot of shit about Danny since and Danny is finally came out and, and kind of went off on social media, pissed off and saying, you know, telling Gabriel Rosado, shut up. Did he do anything to shut him up? Excuse me, Jesus. So I really believe Danny and Gabe Rosado makes a lot of sense for Danny. It takes him out of that whole mix of, oh, do I fight this guy or that guy because of what Canelo does? He can make his own decision because Gabriel Rosado is not on anybody's radar. And he could he could face Rosado. And Rosado's a beautiful guy. I mean, Rosado stands there and comes at you. He's a blood and guts type guy, but he's not he's he's easy to hit. And he's not I don't think he would pose too much of a threat in terms of pulling off a big upset against a guy like Danny. So I think that fight makes a lot of sense for Danny, and it's something he should seriously consider. So that's the what's next on Danny Jacobs, my number three super middleweight in the world right now. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. True boxing, you've been hit with the truth.